So in Montpelier, the Senate passed a bill banning flavored tobacco and e-liquid products. We know it's aimed at keeping young kids from using, but as NBC5's Tyler Bronski tells us, it also hits the wallets of local businesses and the state. Steps are being taken by state lawmakers to ban flavored tobacco and e-liquid products, including menthol in Vermont. Bobby Desso, manager of Valley Vape in Essex Junction, says the bill would eliminate 80% of the store's inventory and out them at risk of closing shop. My livelihood's at risk, my coworkers, my boss. Um, we are a small shop, it's really just the four of us here. Um, so yeah, this shop could absolutely go under with the uh, loss of our juice sales. Aaron Sigris, president of Vermont's Retail and Grocers Association, says a joint fiscal report estimated the state will lose about $4 million in tax revenues, but her conversations with store owners tell her it's much more. We're looking more like 20 to $25 million in our tax revenue. However, according to the Vermont Tobacco Control Network, the Green Mountain State spends more than $400 million to treat tobacco-related illnesses, translating to a tax burden of over $1,000 per household each year. Rhonda Williams from the Vermont Tobacco Control Network says the biggest impact would be on young adults. She says her organization surveyed college students to see in real time how often young people use these products. And what we see in that data is 86% of youth, young adults age 12 to 25, are using flavored tobacco products. Um, so that told us and that we need to continue to educate on how flavors entice youth to start. Williams is hopeful Vermont will see similar results to Massachusetts, which was the first state to put in a comprehensive ban in 2020. And in their data, they are seeing reduction in youth tobacco use. That's really encouraging. That's our vision for Vermont. While the bill was overwhelmingly passed by Senate lawmakers, Sigris says there will be a big hole they'll need to figure out how to fill. With over $400 million in new programs already being considered in the legislature, uh, we're going to have some, some funds that will need to be raised. In Essex Junction, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.